G'day everyone. Uh, thought I'd try something a little bit different today. I wanted to review the A6400, but I wanted to try it with the 2470 and also with some flash as well to show you how this can work uh, with off-camera flash. So I have used the Profoto uh, B1s today, but that's only because that's the, they're the only flashes I have with the Profoto B10s. If I use Godox, you'd get the same result, but I wanted to use uh, what I had. So I used the Profoto off-camera flash. There was some uh, normal uh, daylight that I used as well, uh, as well as off-camera flash too. But I wanted to try it with something like this Tamron 28 to 75, due to the focal length that that gives you is such a good range. Uh, it's a great lens and it's not too expensive. So I thought that I'd actually try that out just to see how it went. And from looking in the back of the screen, it seems to have gone uh, really, really uh, well. So we'll have a look at a few of those images now. You got me feeling kind of crazy. You got me feeling like my head is spinning around The way you look is so amazing, amazing I could stare into your eyes for hours and hours Everything is kinda hazy We're just dancing in the dark in the flashing lights I know you can't hear what I'm saying, I'm saying So I'm just gonna hold you closer You take me higher when we're together It feels like you set my whole world on fire I know I want you I know I need you here Okay, so a couple of things that I noticed shooting today, you do have the one th uh, 4,000 shutter speed that you've got to actually uh, allow for. Obviously, it won't go up like the a7 III, which is one eight thousandth, or if you have the a9, uh, it'll go up to one thirty two thousandth if you're actually dealing with silent shutter. So you do have to take that into consideration. But luckily enough today, and I hope this wind noise isn't going to come through the microphone, but luckily enough today, um, I didn't have to deal with that because it was quite overcast, so that was one really good thing. And it also gave me that ability 
ability to try the flash as well to light up the uh, subject. Looking at the images on the back of the camera, they do seem to be really good. And I think this might be a great combination, uh, this Tamron with this camera, the A6400, due to the fact that it's not so expensive, it's super sharp. It just may not be wide enough at 28 because you have to take that 1.5 crop factor into account. But overall, it seems to have gone really well. Uh, it works fantastic with the off-camera flash, so I didn't seem to have any issues with that at all. Uh, the exposure seems to go great. The tracking was wonderful where we had uh, girls jumping and things like that. The dancers actually doing their dancing and jumping and running. Uh, and it seemed to work really great. And I'm really happy with how it performs. I mean, will it replace my full frame cameras? No, it won't. But it's certainly very, very usable if you can't afford the full frame or you may need, not even want the full frame cameras. Uh, and therefore, it's still a great system that you can actually use. Uh, and I'm really happy with how it went. Uh, let me know what you think about this down below because I'd love to know your opinion. Uh, and I'll see you all again soon for the next video. Bye for now.